Dr. Gawana says the donation by Swakop uranium of prefabricated units of 600 square meters and 60 sets of beds and mattresses complements his assignment by the president to build a police village. Most members of the police are still struggling with accommodation and the units will be used to upgrade accommodation and office facilities at various border posts countrywide. I will start that project in Windu to build what we call police village. We have secured already and the Commissioner Nerumbu is here. Maybe I will give him also a floor afterwards to say something. In the window, we have already secured the plot where we are going to build police village. And our president, in no uncertain terms, directed me to make sure that that dream is realized as soon as possible. Because some of our police officers, they will not really like it where they are staying. <coughs> It's a pressing issue when it comes to police accommodation. And that's why I'm determined to pay the directive of my president to make sure that before I retire, some of you will know that I'm going to my village, I'm retiring from politics, active politics very soon. But before I retire, that project must be realized. The chief executive officer of Swakop Uranium Queen Bean says the company will remain committed to assist the government with sustainable projects. This donation is thus our proud contribution in support of your efforts in strengthening homeland security, economic prosperity and the national sovereignty. Stefan, you have NBC News, Swakopmond.